How's it going guys? It's the French Gamer here. And today I have a Skyrim gameplay. But I'm going to be teaching you how to defeat a dragon. And I think this is my third dragon that I kill in this game so far. And it's it's pretty difficult. Um, I'm not going to lie. Let's be honest. Uh, it, it's it's not easy at all. It's, it's a really hard challenge. But there's a couple of steps to take in order to uh, defeat it. And I'll be telling you that right now. So as you see right now, I've encountered a dragon, and I'm kind of screwed for the moment because I don't have any um, potions of minor healing. If you have those, then that'll help a lot. You want to have a lot of potions of minor healing and um, minor magicka and whatnot because right now my health is really low. So step one, you want to locate the dragon, and pretty much as soon as you do that, you want to find a rock, and y you want the rock to be pretty pretty tall so that you can hide behind it when it shoots um, fire, frost, or whatnot at it, at you. And you want to be able to hide behind the rock and rotate around it so that if it um, moves to another point you can move around the rock and keep the rock in between you and the dragon. So right now I'm just keeping my distance, waiting for the right time to strike. And step number two, you want to locate any um, civilians around you or any people who can help you um, fight the dragon like I'm doing right now. The people on the right are helping me. And it's really, really, really useful because it's it's practically impossible at, at a low level to um, fight a dragon all by yourself. So if you're if you're under a level um, 10 like I am, you want to get um, assistance from other people and and um, and have them help you kill it. Um, also in this video there's a really weird um, glitch that happens not right now but it's coming up soon and it's it's pretty weird I'll, I'll show you later you'll see later um, but yeah so step number three I think it is you wanna have a um, bow and arrow and wait till it lands and just shoot uh, as many bows and arrows as you can at it and when this happens right now I am kinda screwed but I remember having my pivot rock behind me and right now I, I changed to flames because there's no way I can I, I can shoot it. So there's my rock, and I think it's about to shit itself onto me, but then it flies away. So always have that rock in between you and the and the dragon. It helps a lot. And here we go. You have to have a bow and arrow to uh, to keep that distance and not have to um, get too close to shoot it with flames or um, hit it with a knife. Unless you're very good at it and it's very efficient, then you can do it. But here I'd rather keep my distance with a bow and arrow. And so right now, this took me a couple tries to kill this dragon. Um, it, was, it was quite a challenge. But I I just have to... I had to keep it safe and just stay pretty far away from it. So, I mean, pardon me if it's, like, kind of not very action-packed. But I did my best. So I think, I think it's step number four now. Um, if you have those potions, then don't forget to use those. And um, also, here's a giant, by the way, because they were they were both helping me and trying to kill me while I was defeating the dragon. So it was kind of bad for me. I had to get out of there. Um, and also, when you're fighting a dragon, step number four: always be moving. Just move all the time, and um, always cast your um, shouts at it. I have the un the unrelenting force. I think just keep shooting um, your shouts at it. And here we go. This is the glitch. It just starts twirling like it's in a toilet or something above some sort of mysterious object that's making it twirl. I don't know what's going on. I'm just I'm happy to take a break from the fucking dragon. And then I'm just like, wait, how long am I going to have to stay like this? So I just decided to um, take out my flames and start shooting at it. So this is really, really weird. And I'm, I speed it up here in a bit for you so that it's not too long. Because this, this, took, this took a lot of time for, it to, uh, for the glitch to stop. And I, I thought it was kind of weird. I, I didn't really like how um, the game came out and there's a glitch. Um, it's, I mean, it is helpful to me to so that I could regain health at the time. But and then here's something something even weirder happens. Here I'm about to speed it up. 
something weirder happens. All right, so here we go. I speed it up right here. Cuz I thought I thought this would last for like ever and I'd have to take off my turn off my Xbox. Okay, so here it just stops and it just crashes to the ground. As completely weirdly as possible. So I go to check out what's going on and it's not there. It's just straight not there. It disappeared. So the, it was kind of baffling for me. I was kind of confused given... Plus this was my like first um, random encounter with a dragon. The other ones I did on a, on quests and such. So I was just completely weird, um, distract, confused. I was, I was baffled. That's what I was. I was completely baffled by this um, behavior of the dragon. So here I am shooting the arrows at it. It doesn't make uh, any effect. I don't know why. But I just kept shooting at it. And you want to shoot as many arrows into it as possible. Um, when it starts doing that, you want to relocate your rock. But my rock's too far away for me to grab it. So I decided to just hold on to my wiener and just fight it straight face to face. And then I found a little cliff to hide behind. And you want to regenerate a little bit before you um, s start re-engaging. But I tried getting back to my rock as soon as possible. So just make sure that you keep that rock as an anchor point and that you keep it as like a safe a safe point as well. Because you always want to be um have a shield in between you and the dragon. And then I think um right here I'm about to um kill it. I think there's like forty five minutes seconds left. And then um I relocate my help, my civilian help, and when they start attacking you have to attack um with as much power as possible so here I just take complete advantage and start shooting um, bows I mean arrows at it as quickly as possible so there you go that's what you want to make sure to do then you sh take your shout and that's what kills it and there you go that's one Cade dragon right there so um, I picked up the soul and uh, hope this video has helped you guys don't forget to uh, give it a like and um, go ahead and check out my channel for other Skyrim videos, Call of Duty, and um, Assassin's Creed videos. But thank you for watching and uh, f subscribe, guys. Have a good day.